Hey everybody, this is Adam from Robot King Studios. I'm just giving a quick thank you to some people um, because we are a community and as a community uh, we have to get involved with one another. So I'm waiting for some things to dry right now. Uh, the drying process always comes up. You gotta wait for things to dry. But back to the point because I'm getting off the point and frankly I should stay on point. So thank you very much to following people. I should have thanked you sooner. I probably have, but I forget what I'm doing. So uh, I forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Uh, thank you, Bongaritas, Bongoritis. Apologies if I get that wrong. Thank you very much uh, for the subscribe for comments on videos, and for watching us. Uh, thank you to Smoking Bolters, again, for subscribing and for watching. Uh, Gizmo says hello. Hi. Uh, thank you to Two Paint Miniatures um, for subscribing back. I know I subscribed to you. But thank you for subscribing back, because frankly, without subscribing to each other, how can we know what's going on? Uh, thank you to Vivid Adventures 2010. Uh, yeah. I know that you're just starting out, but, you know, uh, get your videos up, get your madness going, and get your crazy on, because crazy is good. Uh, thank you, Steve the Kamloopian. Now, uh, <clears throat> sure, uh, we don't have much of a conversation going, but nonetheless, thank you very much for checking out my videos. Thank you, Warp Moon, for subscribing. I subscribe to you, of course, and a friend requested you, and thank you very much. Uh, Warp Moon, cool guy, cool guy. Um, continuing on, uh, I think I already said Terrain Noob. But, uh, Terrain Noob, thank you. Red Green 09, thank you for subscribing. Battle Report Bunker, thank you for su subscribing. Uh, Sniper Ray 213, pardon me, thank you for subscribing. JJD Pagan, thank you for subscribing. Um, I already said Blue Moon Minis, I think. Jowl Balls, uh, you subscribed a while ago. But I don't think I ever actually thanked you, thanked you. If I did and forgot, I'm sorry. Uh, I need more coffee to remember things. So, Jowl Balls, thank you. Um, I have a bunch more thanks that I should get out, but I'm forgetting things right now. I'm forgetting things. So, uh, let me summon up my concentrative powers. Summon, 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 summon. summon. I think I need more coffee. Yes, I do. I need more coffee. But, <clears throat> uh, uh, Pink Metal Kitty, thank you for subscribing. Tragic Man, thank you for subscribing. R6 Bad Boy, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Eye of Aaron, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Hellhole Fred, thank you for subscribing. Stravo, Thank you for subscribing. Who am I forgetting? I forget things a lot. Mr. Scenery Man, thank you for subscribing. Um, pardon me. Uh, War Studio 8, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Boxermeister, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Twist a Clean, Twisty Clean, Twist a Clean. Twist a Clean, uh, thank you for subscribing. Now, for anyone I forgot to say thank you to, um, I'm sorry. I apologize. I will get you next time. Uh, go ahead. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, make sure if you are subscribed to me and uh, you haven't checked out some of these people that I've mentioned, go ahead, look at their pages, check them out, um, because we all have something to contribute. I think my contribution for the day will be drinking more coffee, uh, letting my uh, 
stuff dry and um, doing more work uh, because as you know I already have uh, the Slaneshi army that I have to work on Slaneshi, Slaneshi um, <clears throat> and I have terrain projects I'm working on uh, urban desolation project uh, if you go to robotkingstudios.com if you go into our gallery section and uh, into the in the studio gallery uh, you can see all sorts of pictures of things that we are working on and we have been working on you'll see a bunch of pictures in there you can find uh, pictures of our demon alien terrain uh, find pictures of the urban desolation terrain desolation desolation urban desolation terrain also called the urban decay terrain uh, we don't have pictures up yet of our modular labyrinth but that is being worked on uh, we don't have any pictures yet of the um, uh, desert terrain which will have pyramids sort of step style pyramids uh, still have more work to be done on that. You'll find some pictures of the models we've been toying with. Uh, we have a very large, well, it's not that large, but it's a pretty good size Tomb King's army we're working on. Uh, we have a Space Marine's army that was unfortunately not of the quality we wanted. Unfortunately, now it's a low-end quality, uh, but the models are pretty well detailed. Uh, we have some things that we're working on with Chaos, uh, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Knights, uh, some Sorcerers, etc. Um, I don't have pictures up of the uh, Blood Letters or the Corn Army, but it's coming. Uh, we have uh, unboxings coming for some Zombies, uh, some Call of Cthulhu, some goblins, I think. I just forgot. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video soon to show you uh, the Demon Alien terrain set, because that is done. Now, this terrain set is a um, test concept. So, if people like it, we will do better, more intricate, larger versions of it for people. Uh, in different color schemes, different patterning. Uh, it is modular. It's a 25-piece terrain set. Uh, it's quite nice, but it's it's our test set. So when we do the video, you'll get to see the 25-piece modular terrain set. The pieces are designed to go in all sorts of ways, but at the same time, it's just a it's fun. It's fun. Uh, there's a large blood sacrifice pool, a smaller blood pool, a giant demon gate. You can find pictures of it uh, if you go to those galleries that I previously mentioned at robotkingstudios.com. Um, oh, I just remembered someone I forgot to thank. Uh, Cranberry Muffins Man. Muffin Mans. Cranberry Muffin Mans. Uh, I think there's some numbers behind his name. Either way, check him out. Um, <clears throat> and if you do, go to bloodangels.info. Really cool site. I'm getting Mantic. Manic. Manic. Well, I'm getting stuff, actually, from Mantic soon, too. I'm wandering off. I'm living off a steady diet of caffeine and oxygen. I think I need more in my diet. Uh, as you see, we picked up a bunch of dice. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring some people in, because I want to actually do some videos on Call of Cthulhu, uh, the game itself, maybe Arkham Horror, uh, more Call of Cthulhu minis, which we haven't even shown you the Call of Cthulhu minis yet, but I'm sure you may have seen them before. If you haven't, go ahead and search them. Look them up. Beautiful miniatures. Decent prices. I uh, picked up uh, a couple new toys recently. Um, I love toys. And I went ahead, and I know you can't see this very well, I uh, 
I got a Pumpkin King Jack Skellington, and I got an Oogie Boogie too. And Oogie Boogie is actually an, a small assemblable model of sorts. Um, not a very intricate model, but you, know, you put it, put them together, assemble them, and then you have an Oogie Boogie. And I like him. I do. Um. <clears throat> What was I going to say? I forgot. I recently got an Azathoth. Azath? Azathoth? Az I can't speak right now. Azathoth the Treacherous model. A uh, wonderful little metal goblin model. It's just wonderful. Um, my brain is dying. I need more coffee. So. Thank you very much for paying attention. Um, I am now going to use this Pokeball to catch your attention. Or my own. My concentration. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. So now that I've delighted you with random things, thank yous, hello, howdies, coffee time, and... Um, Tidbits of Hubalakavia he not can get the goal. I'm gonna go drink more coffee and I'm gonna try to check to see if my lacquers are dry because pardon me, because once they're dry, I have something else done. Uh we also have a very large vampire counts army which is being converted but also assembled basically. Um there's probably going to be at least four units of skeletons. Uh, there's going to be uh, banshees and uh, ghouls, um, zombies, and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, I have actually six, six uh, vampires and necromancers for it. So, uh, just so you know. Uh, the concept, actually, with the vampires and necromancers is uh, you can interchange them or just add this very large vampire counts army to another large army and then have an even larger army. Uh, a lot of it is conversions, though, using empires pieces, um, as well as old vampire counts pieces, some tomb king bits, and some orcs and goblins bits. Uh, to give it a nice feeling, uh, like this army is collected from other armies uh, that the vampire has slain. Hopefully I can get some pictures of that once it's getting closer to ready. There's still a lot of work to be done with it. Uh, right now I have three of the giant bats for it, a few bat swarms also. I'm going to get a hold of a Vargulf. Uh, for it also. It's going to be quite nice, quite tasty. So stay tuned. Thank you for listening to me ramble. And uh, this is Adam from Robot King Studios saying thank you for your time. Thank you, everybody. We love you. And bye.